Cause shit ain't right in the world. Big shout out to all the niggas at home with that bitch. They tired of smiling in front of the kids. Ain't it rough? They ask you a question. You want ice in you? Bitch, you know I want ice. I don't, I'm sorry. Yes, I want ice, baby. I want ice. We know it's like that all over the country, goddammit. Don't y'all fight. Y'all just go ahead. Handle your business, goddammit. Stop asking him where he's going every time he leave the house. He got to get away for a minute. He got to get away for a minute. Stop. Stop. I don't want to say where I'm going this time. I'm tired of thinking of shit that I'm not going to remember later. <laughs> Stop asking him where he going here, man. He got a release in the streets. Do you know how many dogs are stuck in the house right now? Got puppies everywhere. God damn it, niggas got to go see and do shit. All you ladies, you know you got a man. Be glad you got a man. God damn it, you know how many bitches ain't got nobody to ask where they going? God damn it, they kids too young to leave the house. God damn it, they be looking out the window just talking to niggas. Hey, where you going? I say this stuff because, you know what I'm saying, there's so many women out there who are looking for this imaginary relationship that they've been chasing 30, 40, 50 years, the Brady Bunch, the Huxtables, all that shit was a TV show. Real life, real life is understanding and antibiotics, okay? You must, you must, I'm sorry. I'm, that's real life. That's real life. You know why it's steak? Now put, take the shit and I'll see you in a week, baby. This is real life, and goddammit, this song is dedicated to that life. It go like this. Hit it! Yeah, yeah. Stop worrying about it. You can't stop it. Marcus, tell them how it really go. A nigga gon' creep. It don't matter if you find. It don't matter if you kind. A nigga gon' creep. It don't matter if you're sweet. Even got baby doll feet. A nigga gon' creep. That nigga gon' run. The streets at night, cause he must. Nigga gon' creep. So, creep. bitch, man, a nigga gon' creep. Creep, don't you fuck. A nigga gon' creep. It don't matter if you're rich. He gon' go fuck a bitch. Nigga gon' creep. You can even be nice to his mom, but fucking bitches is gon' go on. Nigga gon' creep. You can run his bath every night. A nigga gon' creep Somewhere creep. is a bitch that's about to get fucked right. A nigga gon' creep A nigga gon' creep, creep. creep. 
That you can. Niggas gon' creep. Nigga gon' creep. All the fellas out there driving trucks, watching the show, wave your hand if you ain't never been faithful to a hoe. Nigga gon' creep. I ain't never been faithful my whole motherfucking life. That's right. Nigga gon' creep. Niggas is gon' creep. A nigga gon' creep. Niggas gon' creep. Creep. Niggas creep. Gonna creep. All the niggas gon' creep. Creep. I'm talking about your man, bitch. That nigga gon' creep. Soon as you go to sleep. Bitch. The nigga gon' creep. That's what we do all night. A nigga gon' creep. Some of us do it in the daytime. Nigga That's right. Taking pills, going nigga strong. Go creep. Look at this dick. Bitch, come take a, a lick. Niggas gon' creep. Niggas gon' creep. Get it through your thick skull. A nigga gon' creep. I remember my daughter told me about her boyfriend cheated on her. I said, fuck you think I be doing? A nigga gon' creep. Creep. A nigga gon' creep. Creep. Man, a nigga gon' creep. All you niggas out there telling your daughter it's gonna be all right. All right. You a motherfucking lie. Cause a, a nigga, nigga gon' creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nigga gon' creep. creep. A nigga gon' creep. 5150 Industry Repo Show. Here to let you know. A nigga gon' creep. That nigga gon' creep, yeah. That nigga gon' creep, creep. That nigga gon' creep, creep. Man, that nigga gon' creep. You see the conviction in his eyes. Ain't no motherfucking lies. Yeah, that that nigga, nigga gon' creep, creep. That nigga gon' creep. Surprise, bitch. You ain't the only one riding that dick. A nigga gon' creep. We'll be right back. Sit on the couch. A nigga gon' creep. Contrast conversation. A nigga gon' creep. With Marcus in this day. Man, a nigga gon' creep. Nigga gon' creep.
Industry Repo Show, find a way to live, goddammit, another week. We are on the couch with my man Marcus, and this week, we bought company, another- Don't be saying it like that. Another country-ass motherfucking comedian. Get excited, nigga. From, from, where's oh. it, from, where, from, where, 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 are you, Precious is from? Oak Cliff, Texas. Old Cliff Clinton. Only hoes. God damn it. Country Shout than out. a motherfucker. Yeah, we in here. What's flip, wrong with that? Flip flops on prom, you dig? <laughs> fuck you. know what? Fuck you. Say, these is fly. They came from the beauty supply. Ebony beauty supply in Dallas, Texas. That's, she. Show up your cup. That shit is unique. Oh, yeah, like my, oh. She got her cup with her shit. signature cup. Yeah. <laughs> my cousin made it in. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Y'all might have to holler at the cook. Right. You got Hennessy in it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Me and in my cup. I want, I want your cousin to make me one with me slapping a bitch. She can do it. I want her spit to be blinged out, though. This I want... nigga. <laughs> this nigga. A uh, nigga. <laughs> we, you know, we fucked up. We was going to let um, Precious uh, flow on the song. But uh, but they I ain't, ain't want a bitch on the sound. They ain't want a bitch on the sound. You know what I'm saying? I told them before they started, nigga, let me in. I got some. I mean, only got like two rhyming words, but still, fool, play it low. A uh, nigga go, come on. Okay, come on, fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, you. Let's go. Okay, a nigga go creep. Yeah, low like that, so we can hear. Yeah, that's real. Oh yeah. Cause that's you know sexy. about a nigga go creep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know what you've been through. A nigga gon' creep. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna come in on this. Nigga. Come in whenever you want to, <laughs> goddammit. I'm gonna stay out into the house. Okay. A nigga, A nigga gon' go creep. 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 And why that nigga creep. creep? Bitch gon' cheat. Fuck around, sit on that nigga friend me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real savage. <laughs> Don't play no games. Bitch come from Texas. Yeah. Never been no pussy lame. gon' stink. <laughs> he made that shit up. You ain't never heard that shit. Check my Yelp Man, results. What's up? Man, that pussy gon' stink. Stink. Man, that pussy gon' stink. Nah, niggas can't take it. That, that nigga gon' creep. <laughs> A bitch gon' cheat. Yeah. He gon' get mad yeah. when I sit on that other meat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you gotta like make shit. sure he ain't in my house or I'ma pull out that heat. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, this will turn into a contagious song. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what's up, shit. You came with it. God damn it. So by y'all both being from the country, like when y'all moved out of here, I'm I know I ain't trying to be funny, but did y'all both move out of here and brought your fishing pole? 
<laughs> what? I'm happy, y'all. It's crazy how people look at country. Like, just because you talk country don't mean, like, it's different parts of country. In Dallas, in Texas, it's like, it look, it's a city, fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go backwoods to be like the country country. Like, we, you sound backwoods now. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, she country ghetto at the same time. She so country and ghetto. Yeah, she country and ghetto at the same time. Yeah, she talk is. a little different than me, you know what I mean? I'm just country, fool. Marcus think he better with that country ass hat on over there. <laughs> He is though. That whole clean food. That whole clean food. You need a feather coming out there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that Get country. That's that one. country clean over here. We talking about. <laughs> For real. No, but look, precious. I know, like, see, you that face that a lot of people be like, oh, it's her. Yeah. I'm saying, everybody, this is precious. That's her stage name. That's my real name. Uh, okay, that's your real name. I was trying to help as you well. out, but fuck it, she as went with well. that. <laughs> That's her real name, and she done found ways to uh, make her face um, memorable out here in uh, California. What Don't you do a podcast? I do do a podcast. Um, it's on All Deaf, y'all. So it's every Thursday. It's called On These Hoes, and it's with me and Kamira White, another hilarious comedian. And she, yeah, so it's on iTunes and Spotify, too. <laughs> check That's that out. Up. Yeah, check That's that shit out. That's the one I was on, is but see, that was before we made that move. You know oh, y'all made a move on We moment. made a little move oh, on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Know. Just a yeah, minor okay. upgrade. Yeah, you know Marcus, saying? after you did it, they stepped their game on <laughs> you. You was, the, you was the jump off. Nigga, I was the motivation. Nigga, I was the motivation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I like that. Yeah. That's a good comeback. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. So, um, yeah. look, by y'all both being from the country, um, do y'all, like, find places out here in L.A. that's country to hang out at? Yeah. Man, I be looking for like two stepping and shit. I be looking for folk from the south out here, but I, it it be hard to find us out here. So if y'all out here, man, y'all y'all hit us up. <laughs> hit him up, nigga. I don't be liking these niggas from the crib out here. Fool. They I'm need like, they to weird. have. Uh, we trying to link all the country folks up out here in L.A. We gonna call it the country COVID connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, they gonna all meet up and uh, smoke some meat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll smoke some weed. Nah, I'm gonna smoke some weed. I'm best to third, nigga. Y'all, y'all got smokers in the back of y'all house on y'all porch. Y'all got porches? Did y'all find? Not, not out here. <laughs> y'all ain't got, yeah. got no goddamn porches out here in California. Y'all no, don't got shit. <laughs> yeah, little ass yard. You can touch the next house if you put your arm out the window. Stuff. I'm out the house. I'm on my yard. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. these motherfucking houses little than the motherfucker. Like I used to say back in grammar school, we had a joke. Nigga, your crib so little, I threw a rock in the window and hit everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now for real, these do be living, they be like 400,000. Like, nigga, for what? <laughs> no, you talking about houses? You talking about condos out here? These houses out here. But with, the good thing about this COVID situation is the prices. A, a lot of people are about to move out their house. And if you got a couple of dollars saved up, you can you, win right you can now. Get in the house. And y'all could, y'all could. Do you know how popular you would be if you countrified a house out here? That's what I'm trying put to a, do. Put, if Nigga, it, I just got in a condo and I'm renting that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I just got my credit right. I can't be doing all that. Is Who's it illegal like to put a couch on the porch out here? Just recheck you know, my see credit score. See, see, see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to migrate <laughs> my... <you. laughs> That's player, nigga. We said you had a screen, inside screen food in Arkansas food. That's where my people from. You go there now. That's country. That's with the chicken coop. You go get. You All go, right, motherfucker. You, know, <laughs> you go buy the yeah. motherfucking goat Ch and shit. They and got goats and in there. And I ain't cooked the fuck out of goat. You know what I'm saying? Tastes like brisket. When I was in Arkansas and I did a, I did a comedy show. This is how country Arkansas was. The motherfucker who it was a it was a show at a school. I forgot the name of the school. Eula. Eula probably. I don't know what the name of the school was, but the motherfucker who the, the airport I was at, I flew into Memphis. Cause you couldn't get there, you had to drive. There. I was being cheap. I drove to, to Little Rock area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's about two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, I swear to God, I couldn't believe this dude was serious. He said, if you want me to, I can drive you to Memphis. I mean, I can fly you to Memphis. Why this motherfucker really show me a little ass yeah. plane he had He's in his like, backyard? You know, I thought nigga had a helicopter. <laughs> He had a little ass plane. See, out here in LA, you can't just fly a plane around, even if you got a little ass plane. That nigga had an American Eagle. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it he wasn't a jet. It was a prop plane. 
It was loud. He found a bootleg a uh, pilot out there. That boy, he was going to really drive me, though, but I was like, I ain't getting that motherfucking nigga. You know, should have got in that bitch. Country niggas do shit like that. He probably built that bitch. Oh, man, this motherfucker. I said, I know that motherfucker. You probably a bad motherfucker, too. I, I bet, bet that plane was, was loud as hell. Them propellers look big as hell. I bet you was bad motherfucker. I you got that. probably started that bitch like that. <laughs> yeah. He taught himself, too. <laughs> nigga had on one of them real pilot hats and shit, them, them things with the glasses. Yeah, shit. niggas learn niggas learn early in the car. I got a little cousin, seven years old. He drive a, 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 a SUV. Say it again. Seven I got a little cousin, old. seven years old. He drive an SUV. Hey, you no, know, you didn't say it like that. You said, I got a cousin, seven years old. He drive a oh, 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 I believe him, SUV. though. So I, be, I, I talk fast sometimes. So it, 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 it's a word getting a little Fuck y'all, okay? Hey. I believe you, though, because I was driving young. Like, I remember, like, in the seventh grade, I was driving the family car, little toy. I'm like, I was like, Mama, you really trying to kill us? Like, she was letting by myself. I go pick up, bro. And then when I get there, I got to get in the passenger seat because he big, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, but Show no. In seventh grade, like 12. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you know what, fool? This is my first and last time on here, fool. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Like you here now, goddammit. We gonna keep this shit going. We need country-ass guests. Mm -hmm. Talk about country-ass shit. Yeah, man, I'm trying to migrate my whole family out this way, man. I believe you. Marcus, yeah. I remember one day we was up at the Improv. You had the whole mob out here. Yeah, man. I'm trying to give me one of them big houses out here. And move yeah. everybody in that bitch. And move everybody in that bitch. What was the name of that movie, yeah, American Gangster? Hmm? Remember that movie, American Gangster? Yeah. When he moved all them country yeah. asses. Yeah. That, that to shit do, don't man. work, fool. That's that's right, fool. I love them. They need to stay their ass in Texas, <laughs> though, fool. Y'all can visit. And I will visit. Or we can move across the street. Yeah. But all in the same crib. Man, listen. I ain't going to be there. I'm going to be on the move. You know what I'm saying? But I want them to see better for themselves. Everybody who don't know, he said, I'm going to be on the move. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, no. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> see, a lot of people who country don't even know they country, and they be shamed. Don't y'all be shamed of y'all country. Ain't nothing wrong with being country. Show everybody your purse, precious. Shut up. It ain't. <laughs> fuck you. Actually, I see, tell you, you to show that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be judging. She got a country ass you know corduroy port. You, you should purse. be worried about this fly ass K Swiss outfit. This nigga talking about the purse. But no, I got a Hennessy in my purse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I brought this. It's not really a purse, it's a satchel because I got Hennessy. And then y'all know I be doing some spiritual shit. I brought my cards. You know what I'm saying? I always tell my spiritual shit we meet. What is that? Tarot cards? Yeah, they are animal oracle cards that I can pull and then, you know, the coke to make wait, sure. Wait, 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 wait. So, so you. Just on some niggas, kid, fool. Y'all should appreciate my satchel. You read <laughs> niggas. Got peace future. on it, nigga. You read niggas' future off Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what, fool? That laugh was a little too hearty in this bitch. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually I smoke and do it. Y'all go to my YouTube channel. I have readings. I do tarot readings on my YouTube channel because that's what I like to do. And if we can't do comedy no more, I'm going to be an intuitive reader. You know what I'm saying? Did you say intuitive? Intuitive, nigga. Like, <laughs> intuitive. It's a she word. You said that right, though. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to sound. Yeah, we know how to talk. Yeah, this nigga like we were talking. Hey, we say we know how to talk again. We know how to talk. <laughs> you couldn't even play it all. This nigga said talk. T A W K. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all don't know. I be writing these songs where I know people can understand what he's saying. Creep is easy to say. <laughs> what if I made the song Sneak Out the House? Sneak Out the House! <laughs> I'm fucking fuck with y'all. So, look, we go, look, we go, we gonna start having Marcus and and Precious, uh, what we need to do is have Marcus and his mom and Precious oh, up here. Oh that's going to yes. be I ain't bringing mama back. Yes, <laughs> that would be so fun. I ain't bringing mama back. Mama well, watching right now. Mama, you are invited one of these weeks to come up here and talk this country ass shit. But your mom don't sound as country as you do. Well, she can play it off. You can tell yeah, something mama, in the mood mama, or somewhere. Mama talk a little more proper than me. Yeah. Yeah, she can. Yeah, you just, she look, I don't know how she, how she It's all good. Y'all yeah. motherfuckers want to get your tarot card yes. read? How they do it? Card? Yes, okay, I didn't bring the tarot cards because I don't got time to be dead. No, but how they get it? Can they do it online with you? Yes, you can do it online. How they do it? 
Precious High Comedy. I go to my YouTube page and first look at your readings because I do them for every sign. I didn't do it this week, nigga. I was tired. You know, I'm still a nigga. But I, but I got for like the past two weeks. You know what I'm saying? I'm no, they're going to get at you. They're going to want their tarot card read. And I'm going to read that motherfucker for you and I'm very affordable. I ain't got the prices on there, but just email a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because, don't worry, my shit good. Look at the look at the. Say shit. it again. How they get in touch with you? But say it slow so they can hear you. Fuck you. <laughs> Precious Hall Comedy. My name, nigga. Precious Hall Comedy. Is that Hall as a H A L L? Yeah, like down the hall, nigga. Precious Hall. You saying Hall? What? You Precious ain't just saying Hall, man. <laughs> Yeah, she think I'm trying to be insulted. I'm trying to help her. Nah, this nigga's very insulted. That's you Precious know Hall <laughs> Comedy, ladies and gentlemen. Call me. Precious <laughs> Hall. <laughs> Man, she, she said it right. She said Hall. Call, yeah, call me. We each other perfectly here, well. Man. I don't yeah. get it. These country motherfuckers getting insulted up here, goddammit. <laughs> nigga, hey, y'all can't be getting mad at me. We got sweet tea over there, nigga. We <laughs> gotta calm y'all ass down. Nigga, you come, nigga, you come from Chicago. What y'all say? Right. What they say? Pop. Y'all say pop. That's pop. wack as fuck. I say fuck. pop too, though. You do yeah. pop. Yeah. Oh, that fucked me up. Nigga, we don't yeah. say pop in the south. We say that's a soda, no, nigga. No, I know how to blend in with the And y'all say and baby think... doll and this doll, nigga. Y'all don't know how to talk either. Yeah. That's how they talk to you. We be like, come here, baby doll. I like that shit, though. <laughs> that shit gonna fly. Like, well, you nigga, 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 we nigga. say doll too, but they call no, you doll. <laughs> <laughs> come here, baby doll. That's how y'all say it. Y'all don't talk right in. Y'all say gym shoes. Nigga, them tennis shoes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, them tennis shoes. I get shoes, my gym man. shoes. We actually say jumpers. I got pop. Jump yeah. when I was coming <laughs> you know up. Y'all call Jones mics too, don't you? We call what? Jones. 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 Man, come on, nigga, this man. Nigga, we we got to get a Jones. Jones. We Jordan. Get a Arkansas dictionary. Jordan. Jo yeah, Jones. Oh, Jordans. Did you oh, try Jordan. to say Jordans? Yeah, Jordan. Oh, he said a Oh my God! This nigga country did a motherfucker. I'm hot. This Hennessy. Y'all got a fan in this bitch? Yeah, she about to faint. I'm goddamn hot. Hot flashes from that last period four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> don't be telling my bitch. Nigga, don't know what you for. Say. All right, y'all. Thanks. We gonna we gonna holler at y'all again. We gonna get to the next segment. Fifty one fifty repo show. We'll be back, motherfuckers.
I want to, <laughs> I want to pay you to come with me over this girl house and play that saxophone. All I need is about ten. Wait, five minutes. Oh God. Yeah, five minutes. I don't know that good. <laughs> anyway, I am here, ladies and gentlemen, with um, another episode of the Industry Repo Show, and I have guests that I would consider my friends that uh, we started shit over together at the foxhole. Everybody who know about the foxhole, I would like for you to show love to Clayton Thomas and Tangerine in this motherfucker. What up, y'all? What's, What's up? 5150 fam. I know, right? <laughs> the, the contemplation of the wording. Right. Y'all right. saw it in my mind. Yes, yes. I call y'all the first couple with a foxhole. Oh, man. As you should. The first, first lady. We the right. only couple that made it from there. Y'all the only couple yeah, made it. God yeah. damn it. Everybody I fucked over there, I can't even call them no more. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. What's up, girl? You know who you are. <laughs> anyway, um, what's up, y'all? Man, what the uh, fuck, man? I'm glad that you called me, you know, all the time. Anytime you ask me to do anything, the answer is yes. And this is in the middle of a pandemic. I said yes. So that's love always. Yeah, because we haven't been leaving the house. Yeah. We've been shooting our videos from the crib, binging shows, eating like crazy. We have not left the house. But for and, and, you, we left the house. Man, that's Facts. what, that, see, I was on my Facebook and I saw you promoting your thing, which you mm. definitely need to promote right now. And I was like, what the fuck? That's right, Clayton and Tangerine, so I can call them. And <laughs> y'all came through for me, but tell, tell, tell everybody what you're doing with that thing, because it sounds like it's some cool shit. That's different. Well, uh, thank you, Corey. I actually created two new shutdown series since I have to stay at home. So on Tuesdays, it's called Tangerine Tuesdays, and it's Tangerine's Top Talent. So I have a talent show. It's a virtual open mic. People come in and sing, rap. They play saxophone. You know, I got a pianist coming next week. I've had, right I've had pole dancers. Look, I think I'm on stage. I miss doing yeah. stand-up so Do much. I'm talking thing. to we the whole audience. You. Okay, right here. I have, uh, I have had a couple of pole dancers come in, and I've got a great pole dancer coming this week. So on Tuesdays... Is it a girl or a guy? They're always girls. <laughs> always girls. <laughs> always girls. So every Tuesday is Tangerine's Top Talent. And then on Thursdays, the show that everybody loves is called Shoot Your Shot. And that is my interactive virtual dating game show where the audience is involved. Their comments are coming up on the screen. Then I've got five guys in the studio on camera with me, and they're all trying to shoot their shot at one of my real hot friends that are internet celebs. So this week, Thursday, the girl had 34 size S breasts. 
She's called the Thick Yonsei. Her, she's stacked. She's amazingly gorgeous. You guys might she know her on the internet. Up. Her name is Persephone. Um, they came episode. through for her, and they all shot their shot, and she picked this really sweet, nerdy guy. I shot mine in the comments. Yeah, he did. He, he was Because my husband and I, we know, he <laughs> belongs to the streets. streets. Hey, that sounds like a happy couple. <laughs> and it's all good. Because See, wait a minute, let me say something. You, let me tell you something. Dreams can come true in this world. You can find somebody for you. Fuck with that bitch talk about. Yeah, man. I mean, I've, I've, I, I was raised by men. I know how men are. And I know for a fact that all men just want a beautiful, sweet woman that's loyal, that they can come home to after a long day of cheating. I know this. I know something. this. Now that is hey. boy, God damn, you lucky little mother. God damn. Corey. Corey. You know how many men out here have settled, settled for irritating bitches that act like they ain't figured it out yet? I mean, I'm God damn it, I'm too old to be arguing with a bitch about where I've been. You know where I've been, God damn it. You wash my drawers, you know what's happening. That is one of the signs. That is one of the signs. The they made Bavarian underwear. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't hurt that I got this juice box, you know, Tangerine's juice box, God. and I do uh, sell those shirts on my site. What's that? You got? I got that juice box. Oh, that's, that's the shirt you sell? Yeah. How can they find it? I bet you they're going to buy it. Oh, that would be great. It's on tangerine.com slash store. You got enough shirts? I have a lot of shirts. And for the man I got, I want that juice box. Hey! And then for Black Love, it's a caricature of my head and his head, and it says, we in this together with a heart around it, if you just want to support the fact that, you know, a black person married another black person, because that doesn't always happen, so hey. Not in that. Hollywood. Right, right. That's a fact. Not in Hollywood. Clayton, they don't know when you moved out here, a lot of people don't know when you moved out here from Detroit. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. It was, see, I, I respect people that really had a drive to come out here and find a way. Mm. Because when you get out here in L.A., this ain't like a regular city where you can hop on the subway and get where you got to go and all that shit. L.A. is a, it's, it's a beautiful, hard struggle. But when, once you find your way where you settled a little bit, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a good thing. And when Clayton first moved out here, I used to be like, I don't know how my little brother going to make it. But I'm going to give him a little push. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to be like, here, nigga. I don't know where you're going from here. But I, that was my mentality. Because you know what I'm saying? I'd have seen him come. Yeah. And I just seen him go. That Midnight Train to Georgia uh, song is real like bro, a motherfucker. The funny <laughs> thing is, like, so what people don't know, yeah, they've heard my story about a lot of the struggle. But, man, coming out here, you were one of the first calls that I made. I'm like, yo, what do I do? Where do I go? You're like, yo, I'm going to get you up here. It was funny is I had called, uh, it was the comedy club at the time. I called the comedy club, like, hey, can I get on? They're like, oh, yeah, we booked up for months. And I'm like, damn. And I hit you like, yo, where can I go? You put in the call to the same person, and they called me back five minutes later, like, all right, you performing tomorrow night. I got up perform you've been looking out me looking out for me ever since so i owe you so much which you no, already know but no, they don't but know i didn't have to look out for you no long time that little push <laughs> was enough yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like when kevin hart let me open up for him a little bit mm. motherfuckers who know what they doing they just need just a little here yeah, yeah. go ahead you know what i'm yeah. saying alley-oop yeah a little alley-oop like that you know what i'm saying yeah it, and it, it's good to see all these years later Man. i see you doing shit I see something when you started out behind the scenes on the TV yeah. show. Then you was on the TV show. Yeah, yeah. I saw that shit. Here's a, let me tell I'll you be like, aha, there you this go. Is, let me tell you how instrumental you've been, not only in my career, but in my life. So the TV show that we're on, Family Time, has been going for eight seasons. You were on season one. I'm writing on season oh, two. Yeah. Right? You were on season one. So he's on season one. I'm oh. writing on season two. And as soon as I'm like, yo, get to work with Corey, this is going to be great. And you were doing Black Jesus, and you couldn't do season two. So they split the episodes in half, and I was like, well, can I audition for one of the characters? And I got it because you did season, because uh, you did Black Jesus that season. I'm like, man, Corey has never stopped looking out for me. Man. Well, that's just how shit, no, that's just how shit work yeah. when you position yourself to do what you got to do, mm -hmm. man. You Licks come your way, man. Yeah. I, I, I watch the show. I'll be like, damn. I, you know, it was, it, see, when you are who you are, mm -hmm. talk about you, talk about whoever, the Moody Brothers, whoever you are, your individuality is going to stand out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a whole lot to get a lot. 
All you need to do is just crack in because people remember motherfuckers that have that standout shit going on. Yeah. So you don't have time to hold back, man, when you in front of any camera. You really got to mm -hmm. be you. And, right. you know, I know you know that, Tangerine, because, like, you you stand out in, in things you do. When we used to be on the foxhole. Oh, <laughs> Speedy's Comedy Corner. Right, you know. Oh, up Speedy, in the yeah. Speedy, Speedy motherfucking crazy ass. I still got love for Speedy, goddamn. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? I ain't seen him in a minute, yeah. I ain't seen him in a minute and shit. You know what I'm saying? But maybe one day we had a whole Speedy comedy corner up here. That'd yeah, people have been asking. Whenever I post a video, there's always at least a few people that put in 5150 51, underneath. And I'm like, I've never been on the show. Like, he's my friend, but you know me from Fox Soul. But I appreciate the love because no, your fans know you. are loyal. And I, I think it's a testament to who you are. Mm -hmm. Because we started Fox Soul. I started in 2008. And, when, and I think I did it till 2009. I don't know if you started in 08 or 07. I don't remember when I started. But the fact that it ended in 09 and you started your own show and you have done it every single week and we're in 2020 now, that is incredible. You know, people have fallen off, have moved back home, have changed their career, have gotten, you've done it. You go on the road. You, this show is always done. People and that's you, why man. your fans are so loyal. So shout out to you and thank you for having thank us you. here because that is incredible. Yeah. No, thank you. I got, I, I, I got, I got much respect for y'all. Y'all don't even know. I don't know if y'all still live in the same place, but I'm a night person. Yeah. And at night, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. ride my bike. Oh, okay. Y'all motherfuckers don't oh, know. Yeah, I pass you have by. amazing legs. I seen you uh, in shorts one time. They're all muscular and stuff. I, I, used, to, I, used, I used to be that nigga. <laughs> I remember. I, I fell off, though. I ain't going to lie. You can't expect a lot out of me nowadays. But I'm just, I pay you, though. But I'm just, ain't that much. But I'm just saying. I ride past, yeah, over yeah. there by one right? Oh, yeah, same yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah. goddammit. I, I pass by the little bullshit over there, goddammit. Uh, this is a small world. I, was, I did an interview um, with um, Sherry Shepard and, um, you know, her and, um, um, damn, I'm blanking on names. But bottom line, it's a lot of us. Yeah. Kim Whitley. Kim Whitley. It's a lot of us who have found our way in this Hollywood game where we know how to do what we have to do mm. to take care of what we have to take yeah, care of. No plan B. And we all live around each other. We all know each other. And as we've grown older, mm -hmm. the respect, in my opinion, is actually sincere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the beginning, I don't know why, but sometimes it's competition. I don't know yeah. why, but sometimes it's competition. But as you get older, mm -hmm. in my opinion, with a lot of people, it becomes more of a, oh, that's, man, I've been knowing this motherfucker 15 years. I think now. the competition part comes from people who move. I'm I'm, a, I'm a West Coast, born, bred, and fed from Inglewood, California. But a lot okay, of people. Okay, gangbanger. Who, yeah, but a lot of people who had to move out here from somewhere else, you had to be competitive to even leave your neighborhood. You had to be competitive to have the courage to think that I'm going to stop li living around the people that know, love me, and support me, and I'm going to hop on a plane with this little bit of money in my pocket, and I'm going to start a whole new life. Mm -hmm. So that takes courage and competition. And then when you get out here, you feel, you feel like somebody's going to take it from you. Somebody's better for you. You got to audition. You got to beg. You got to beg. So it takes a while for you to realize that, hey, man, we can help each other. I'm going to tell you about an audition. I'm going to tell you about a radio show. You know what I'm saying? And we can all work together. But it, it's, you start off like this. Then you'd be like, oh, we all cool. Black Hollywood is small. My thing yeah. was always different because I always saw people doing that. But like so many of y'all have helped me. I've always been like, uh, let me help somebody else because it's like, I can't compete with anybody because what's for them is for them. But yeah. I always, you know, you got the people that you be like, I don't fuck with such and such because I just don't like them. But I've never competed with the cats just off of knowing, I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, you're going to run across people that, in my opinion, well, fuck that shit. <laughs> me, I give everybody the stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you fuck me, goddammit, mm. I like to be able to say fuck you to your face. Mm -hmm. When I see, oh, you a pussy motherfucker. And that's I like, why I like, like you that. because you're you never front. You yeah. Don't, you don't smile in somebody's face and then go on your computer and then tweet about them. You'll tell them in their face and tweet Ooh. about them. That's why I fuck with you. Man, and I don't even want to start Ooh. no shit, but I am relieved once you come out the bag on me. I like <laughs> that. Yeah. I be like, oh no. <laughs> Yes, this is what I'm Bro. talking about, bitch ass nigga. I had never seen. We were at the Laugh Factory one night, and there was a comedian. Uh, I think he said something out of the way to you. And you know how comedians are. They'd be like, oh, man, blah, 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 I'm going to talk behind his back. You literally like, hey, man, let me talk to you over here for a second. And you literally go around the corner with dude. I'm like, Corey about to sock the shit out of this Who guy. Who was that? 
I'll say his name in a second. But oh. y'all were talking over there, <laughs> and it got resolved. And I was like, man, that's the realest shit I've ever seen. Because you don't right see there. that out here. I don't want no trouble. Yeah. I like being able to go where I want to go. Yeah. But every once in a while out here, you just meet somebody you know. I'm going to get the fuck away from you. Because I already know what happened. Out here, one thing I have found out, mm. motherfuckers get into it with you, and they call the police. In California, it's my opinion, if you get in a fight with somebody, they actually call the police and press charges. Because they know they're going to lose. That's I mean, terrible. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't even know if it's going to lose. That's I just terrible. feel like that's what they think they're supposed to do. I ain't never seen it this bad. I seen motherfuckers getting fights next day. They be like, fuck that nigga. We got into it. Mm -hmm. Fuck, you don't want, it's good? <laughs> I did. You know right. what I'm saying? That's how it should be. That's right. That's, right. that's how it should be. I don't want to fight every day. <laughs> like, fuck it, nigga. Let's stop. <laughs> Shit. I'll buy you something. <laughs> I'll buy you something. <laughs> Get your I don't want to fight again today. <laughs> the motherfuckers who keep coming back. But most of the time out here in this game we in, this is the Hollywood game. Most yeah. people ain't coming back. Most people just pressing charges or talking shit. Yeah, it's not Internet easy, banging, all of that shit. Right, all that shit. But so y'all got something besides the um, make sure you plug shot that out again. How do people watch your shows, Tangerine? Um, my shows are live streamed on Facebook and YouTube at the same damn time. So facebook.com slash official tangerine or youtube.com slash tangerine. If you can't remember any of that, my name is right here. Just type that dot com. Tangerine. You see how she spell it? T A N J A R E E N. It's correctly pronounced Tangerine. Thank you, yeah. from uh, Foxhole Radio. But that's every Tuesday and every Thursday. But um, special engagement tomorrow, Saturday, I'm hosting the 24-year anniversary reunion show for the cast of the movie Sunset Park. Mm. So if you remember that movie, Terrence Howard, Rhea Perlman, and uh, Melinda Williams were in One it. Talent Fredro, in ta talent. talent, Fredro Star, Black Ass Shy, uh, Black Ass Shy also known as Anthony Chicago Hall. Um, Antoine Fredro Tanner, yeah, yeah. Fredro Starr. So yeah, so they're gonna be, um, some of those people are gonna be on my show tomorrow for the reunion at four o'clock Pacific time, seven o'clock Eastern time. That is a one time event and it's gonna be amazing because they got some stories. Some people got arrested while they were filming. They had fights while they were filming, talking shit, didn't get along, brotherhood. Like it's a lot of stuff they've never talked about before and they're gonna talk about it on my platform tomorrow at four o'clock, Facebook and YouTube. That's what's up, that and sounds interesting. us on the show Family Time on the Bounce Channel for the past seven, eight years, yeah. and then you tell them all the stuff you're doing, because he's, just he's say, a mogul. I'm looking at this he's, shirt. This oh, is yeah. his shirt as well. So here's the, <laughs> first of all, the I, I belong to the streets shirt is coming tomorrow, by yeah, the way. It's it going to be on my site. I need that one too. Uh, other than that, I get the cookies and the cookie. Get, like I have so many catchphrases all over my own hoodies and shirts. Everybody who watches the sketches, uh, just go to IamClaytonThomas.com, my YouTube page, Clayton Thomas, Facebook, Team Clayton Thomas, Instagram. Uh, yeah, buy a shirt, watch the ads. I just do all of my own shit now, man. I don't advertise the TV shows I'm on. I don't ever. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. So we were talking about the, uh, us being locked in the house, right? Bro, right before this lockdown happened, I was filming an episode of All Rise on CBS, like this, uh, this drama show. I'm playing like one of I the bad that. guys. Yeah. And I'm super hyped, right? We on set, I wrap my day, like all my stuff is done. And at like an hour later, they announced that the lockdown was happening and all the production shut down. I had a two episode thing and I only filmed one and I'm like, bro, I don't even know if my episode is going to air. Like, everything it's gonna is air, crazy. Baby. It's going to air. Ugh. Yeah, you got to think good, but it's, it's cold with this entertainment business, man. So many entertainers are taking it up the ass yeah. with this whole shutdown entertainment thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people who, people think like, NFL players are rich. No. <laughs> Ooh, no. 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 They had a lot of overhead. They, Not just right, that. They, they need this shit to yeah. start Ooh. back on time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 even pro athletes, whatever, everybody in entertainment got slapped in the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was about to get the on the flight down. to go to be on tour with Martin Lawrence again. The yeah, next one of the day, dates got canceled. But and then the whole rest of the tour got canceled. My thing, I'm extremely blessed. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> like you know, I came from nothing. So I had to save all my money. I was like, hey, I don't know how long it's going to last. Not talking about this, but like me Whatever. having money. I'm like, bro, I've been saving money, dude, just so I can stay in the house. We're good. That's right, because you ain't got no choice but to stay in the house. You <sighs> take a girl out on a date now, you be like, bitch, want some takeout? <laughs> want some Roscoe's in the bag, bitch? And, and if you don't know the history of our relationship, <laughs> if, if uh -oh. you don't know the history of our relationship, you you 
you got to know that we started on Speedy's Comedy Corner. All of us, plus Lou Dick, Speedy Caldwell, Rodney Perry, sometimes TDK, Zoe Williams, every Thursday. And everybody would like flirt with me and shoot their shot at me. And I would always say, Clayton will never, never, <laughs> never get between these legs. I will never give him any vagina. Get out of here. You, you're this, you're that. I was not interested. Went over his house and shot a sketch. I think the first sketch he ever shot on a raggedy camera in a dark room on an air mattress. I had that air mattress. And he edited himself and put it up on the internet right away. And I said, oh, he's a hard worker. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then I saw him do comedy at Sarah's. We used to do open mic after the show every week. And I saw him perform comedy. And I said, oh. He's funny. He got uh -huh. the it factor. I'm really funny. And I was like, okay, we were just friends for like two years, but I was always looking like, okay, I wasn't attracted to him, but I was like, he's going to make it. He's going to make it. And from him going from that air mattress, I just have to shout out the fact that he just flew me to Europe right before the shutdown. So we went to Paris, France, and Rome just for fun, not just, just well, because. Well, Paris and France are the same place, but I'm London. sorry, we went That's to London, so Paris. London, Paris, and, and Rome. That's so beautiful, Tangerine. After the, after the oh, air hey, mattress. Clay, yeah. Now tell us the Detroit version of what happened. <laughs> Don't tell us how yeah, you tell, got that ass, tell, tell 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 us us tell Here's the funny thing. When you talk to, when you speak to certain women and they say shit like, oh, you know, oh, I would never do this because I don't see you that way. I'm like, look, all I need to do is get you in my environment. You know what I mean? Like, let you see me where I shine and then you'll be wanting to fuck with me, right? So I had to play the long game with her because she was really, like, she already... I was broke. She already had a name for herself working. And I was like, yo, like, I'm going to smash. I knew I was, but I didn't know <laughs> when. And then it was like, as soon as I got the opportunity, like, you know, you play the nice guy role. I'm trying to listen to all her problems. And then she's like, uh, <laughs> 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 all her so then she's, you know, talking to me. And she's like, oh, you're really sweet. I didn't see this side of you. And we were on Foxhole because it was always everybody roasting. And I got a chance to see who you really are as a man. And I liked that. And then she was feeling me. And I had a girlfriend at the time, but I wanted Tange more. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I went through my little bullshit. I broke up with the girlfriend, got with Tange. As soon as I smashed, I was like, got you, like, immediately. Yeah. Because she was a great girl. Like and you know what else? And a hundred yeah. plus a hundred days. Yeah, so she made it wasn't me wait. like I gave, I gave him some. I actually made him... Yeah, right. I mean, you, we still, you know, we yeah. married, but yeah, I just, yeah. you know, I knew what was going to happen. That, 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 you so sweet, that's a West Coast female thing. All you girls out here in L.A. who be like, you so sweet, I be like, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I know what's next. No, I don't I'm know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what's up, man. So, look, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers, y'all already know, y'all friends of the motherfucking program, man. We gonna have y'all back in here. I appreciate y'all coming on the couch. Man, anytime you hit me, the answer is yes. I wish I would say no. <laughs> hey, hey, Clay, you, nah, I can't do it. Man, come on, man. The answer is always, this is a pandemic. I have not left the house in a month. You say, hey, I need you, we I'm here. here. That's what's up, man. Oh, man. I appreciate y'all, man. And thank y'all for all the love that y'all show me every time I'm here and the love that y'all show, if you guys know or are familiar. So thank you, man. That's what's up. All right, what's well, it, man? We going we going to take a break and come back. Um, Y'all going to sing again? a nigga going to creep again? Yeah, I, 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 I want to like hear that, that again. The outro like that song. song oh, we okay, sing. Okay. oh, all right. We come back with creep. the outro song. And once again. Uh oh, they sing it. <laughs> We gonna have y'all. Next time y'all come back, I'ma prepare a couple songs for y'all. Hey, okay. Some Ebony you Ivory shit. Me. Ebony and Ivory. You, you be singing, singing contests on yeah. his Instagram Wait, live. Be singing. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, last time he when he did the 5150. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, man, that was fun. Yeah, next time I'ma have that shit yeah. prepared for your ass. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we gonna take this break and come back, man. Thanks, Tangerine and Clay, for coming through. Thanks. For having 50 us. 150 Industry 50 Repo Show. We'll 50. be back, motherfuckers. Oh.
What up, y'all? We are here going towards the end of another great industry repo show. This week five, ain't it? This the fifth time we did it? That's just beautiful. This shit adding up, goddammit. Or oh, is this the sixth week? It's the fifth week. Phil over there like six. Oh, my bad, five. No, this is six. I did four. I missed last week. You did four? Yeah, I did four. I missed last week. Then you missed last week? Yeah. And then, so this the fifth one you did? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Is he right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, good. Good, yeah. nigga. I don't believe he did four, but he said it. God damn it. I believe him. Hey, fine. Go ahead. We are here, and, you know, sometimes the spiritual part of us come out. And you know what I'm saying? We like to end on a positive note with the outro song. This is where we beg, just like in church. God damn it, I am a proud minister. I got my minister shit offline, god damn it. I think about marrying people now, god damn it. I got to get that paper, god damn it. You can be married by Corey Holcomb. I can do it legally, god damn it. They don't give a fuck who marry you. They just give a fuck about that paper y'all gonna split up. Uh, so you can donate if you want a dollar. Them dollars add up, God damn it. Them dollars make it where we can pay for this motherfucking rent and all this shit to keep this show going. We got these professionals right here, the Moody Brothers, God damn it. Them motherfuckers over there, they married and shit. Well, one of them married, for sure. You ain't married yet? He ain't married yet. He ain't with that bullshit. We got the motherfucking pay some bills, so we get our little outro song um, going on, goddammit. This song is a song that a lot of people can relate to. Um, go like this. Come on with it, y'all. Sometimes that pussy bleeding. That don't mean you can't fuck. What they say, if you can walk through mud, you can fuck through blood. Yeah. Yeah. This song is about that period pussy. Give me that so woo woo. Give me that so woo woo. Fucking with on the period? What's up? I, 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 and a red light ain't never stopped me, baby. A red light ain't never stopped shit. The blood don't stop 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 shit. Give it a shoe. The blood. The blood. I ain't scared to fuck it while it's red. Some of these girls got the blood that's brown. Stop shit, the blood don't stop Why shit, your blood the blood. brown? The blood. Why is your blood, blood brown? Don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit, the blood. The blood. So, woo, the blood woo. don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit. Get the towel for the blood. Give me the so, woo, woo. The blood don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit, the blood. I just lay a towel on the bed. Don't stop run through the mud. Full steam ahead. The blood don't care about the smell. Sometimes it's better than the way it normally is. See, I missed that. The blood don't stop shit. The blood don't stop shit. The blood don't stop shit. The blood. The blood. Blood don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit, the blood. I played in the mud. The blood don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit. The pussy always wet when it's bleeding. 
The blood don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit. Your Red Cross, woo! The blood don't stop shit, the blood don't stop shit, the blood. The blood don't stop shit, 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 the blood. The blood, give me that. The blood don't stop shit, the And it's bad. The blood. Put don't them pound knees on. Don't stop shit. Fuck it like a man. The blood. Don't stop shit. The blood. Don't stop shit. The blood. So we don't stop shit. The blood. Don't stop shit. Repo show. We are about. Don't never be afraid. If he say he'll do it, quit being shot. We about to splash in that monkey. Get me the zoo, woo woo woo. Get me woo I'll see y'all next week. Repo Show! Thank mm-hmm. you.